These five tips will ensure that you have an effective workout every single time. Welcome back to my channel and it's always a delight to have you stop by once again. If today's your first time, thank you for stopping by. Mwah! Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button right now and do turn on the notification bell so that every time a new video comes up, you will be the first to know. So today I will share five tips that can make you have an effective workout every single time. Number one, stay hydrated. Uh huh. When you exercise and when you sweat, your body loses fluids. So it is just normal to get those fluids back so that you don't suffer dehydration or some kind of dizziness. So every time you go to workout, grab that bottle of water and stay hydrated. Make sure to stay hydrated because it will keep you going until your workout is done. Number two, go at your pace. Okay, so we know that many times we want to push ourselves to be able to achieve much more, but hello, know where you are in your fitness journey if you're a beginner or intermediate or advanced and go at your pace. It is completely useless to try to do something that will kill you. Okay, not literally, but that will max you out and you're totally useless, right? So make sure to go at your pace. For example, if there is a jump squat and you have to jump this way, an exercise routine says you should jump. So you're squatting down and jumping, right? All you may do is just come down and up, down and up because if you're jumping and squatting, that might be too much for you if you're a beginner. So go Number three, pay attention to form. Okay, so form is more important than speed. So I will use the squat again, for example. Many people want to squat and they do this. All right, you will injure your ankles and this is not, it's not, it's not doing anything. Ouch, that hurts, oosh. So what you need to do in paying attention to form is to ensure that you sit your butt back like you want to poop and ensure that this is 90 degree here from your leg right you can see that and then you can go at your variation so some people can really go dip down okay dips squat. some may stop here some may here and others even here but the most important thing is to pay attention to your form so do not compromise form for speed so it's better to do two great squats now to do this, one, two, three, okay, so forward, top, top. <laughs> So there you have it. Number four, engage your abdominals. You heard me. So many times people fail to realize that just by engaging abdominal muscles, it gives you an equally good workout. What do I mean? Pull your tummy in as, as if someone wants to punch you. So here, it's really tight. So you pull it out, it hurts. But you know what I mean. So you pull it in and there you go. So when you engage your abdominals, every time you do a move, for example, going down, you exhale by blowing out and pulling in. You come up, you inhale and then exhale. You got it? So always engage your abdominals. Don't stay loose. I'm really trying here. <laughs> so don't stay loose like, like so. You know, pull your belly button in towards your spine keep your abs engaged brace up and do the workout and you will see the difference number five mix things up a little bit so don't just get used to doing only cardio for example you like to go on the treadmill or you like to walk or you like to run that's great but when you mix and match it keeps your body guessing for example you run today you could do a deep stretching practice tomorrow you could do a strength training next tomorrow or the other time. You could do a metabolic workout. You could do a HIIT or Tabata. Just name it. All right. And this will keep you going for the long haul. This extra that I did not add in the numbering is celebrate your progress or celebrate little wins. I know, I know, I know the goal that you have, right? Get that belly and flat belly or to rock the stress size by so, so so time. But hello, can I say to you, celebrate your wins. This will make sure you come back tomorrow 
and slam it. You come back next tomorrow and slam it. And every time you celebrate your win, no matter how small it is, it keeps you motivated to ensure that you have an effective workout. I hope these tips have helped you. Let me know the one that is your favorite tip and the one you never really thought about and you're like going to take seriously going forward. And I will see you once again, just in case you haven't subscribed. Don't forget to click that button right now and do turn on the notification bell. And I want to ask you politely that you share with someone because sharing is caring. Let us build a community of people that are fit for purpose. And that's it for today. I'll see you the next video. We're winding down and this feels so cool. See you next time. Love you. Bye for now. Mwah.